Hello, my name is Pavel Lukták. I am the co-organizer of HEPP20, Hackers Congress Parallel Police, uh, which takes place in Prague uh, during second, from 2nd until 4th of Oct October. And uh, this Congress is focused on digital totality. And we decided to make short video introduction uh, videos about our speakers. And today we, we would like to start with a video uh, dedicated to our regular and very crucial speakers, Frank Brown and Smuggler. So uh, let me introduce these speakers. Firstly, I would like to tell about common project of these two guys because they participate uh, together um, in many projects. And then I would like to describe a uh, personal project of Smuggler and personal project of Frank. But I would like to start with the history. I met these two people in, uh, in London probably 10 years ago at the Bitcoin conference. It was, I think, second Bitcoin conference uh, in the world. I was invited to this conference uh, by Amit Taki. And uh, I can remember that Smuggler and Frank were probably one of, one of the most interesting people I met at this conference. And these two guys, they also introduced me to Paul Rosenberg. Paul Rosenberg is a famous uh, thinker, liberty thinker, and he's also uh, the author of cult crypto anarchistic books like uh, A Lodging of Wavering Men, for example, or uh, uh, The Breaking Down. Uh, Frank and Smuggler, uh, many years ago, they created the unique uh, containers community in Berlin. Uh, they're founders of TAZ, which means Temporary Autonomous Zones. And on the link in this presentation, you can, you can uh, find more information about Temporary Autonomous Zones. Uh, they had a presentation in uh, Paralnipolis, Bratislava. Also, a few years ago, they uh, created the implementation of Script, which is not cryptocurrency, but it's unique anonymous voucher system. So inside of your organization or between multiple organization, you basically uh, can exchange some vouchers. These vouchers can be backed by anything. And also uh, they implemented, implemented the mute protocol. Uh, one of the problem of anonymization network like Torque, for example, or I2P is low latency. And thanks to, uh, thanks to low latency, uh, for example, because they use TCP HTTP protocol, uh, it is by design relatively possible to make a de-anonymization. So that was the reason why Frank and Smuggler decided to implement their own protocol, mute protocol, based on SMTP, uh, which is high latency protocol. And what they, what they did, they built encrypted anonymous uh, communication protocol based on SMTP. Uh, this year, they started unique podcast, uh, which is called Cypherpunk Bitstream Podcast. Um, I strongly recommend you to listen uh, all, all of these podcasts, or all parts of this podcast, especially if you want to be involved more in the Cypherpunk community and want to be familiar with the Cypherpunk tools. And now I, I would like to introduce you some personal project of Frank Brown. Uh, probably one of the interesting uh, uh, project is Code Chain. It's a special software, special application, uh, application which uh, may help you uh, in securing your source code because thanks to the code change, uh, you can you can do a uh, signature of your source code and something what is called like hash chain. And thanks to this, uh, you can be immune, for example, against Im Im implementation or in implanting of backdoors in your code. Uh, he also had an interesting presentation at HCPP about, uh, about this tool. The name of this presentation is called Encode VTrust. And also uh, another presentation I really like from Frank is called Dehumanizing Technology. And in this presentation, uh, he described that uh, 
artificial intelligence, for example, smart contracts uh, uh, or smart contracts like, technolo like technology cannot be responsible for making like a crucial decision, uh, for example, regarding human life. So it is really uh, necessary to think about like, a, a, think about, for example, about killing robots or uh, how this technology can be, can be, can be misused uh, because uh, the crucial decision uh, should be always uh, should be always uh, be done by by humans and not by by technology. And now I like to very shortly describe smuggler important projects. Uh, personally, I consider uh, to be the most important project of smuggler his document or his book, which is called the Second Realm: Book on Strategy. Uh, I was totally fascinated. Uh, um, by this book. I read it immediately uh, we met in London. And uh, this book was probably one of the reasons why we started Paralani Polis. Uh, Smuggler, by the way, he, he, he was responsible for writing uh, this year HCPP manifesto. So I strongly recommend you to check our website hcpp.cz and read uh, the manifesto he wrote. And in, in this book, he basically described that if we want to be free, we should create uh, like a parallel society or some autonomous zones. He described how it is possible or how it, how it is possible to achieve uh, this parallel society, uh, how we should protect against intrusion from the, the real society. And it's really interesting book you should definitely read. Uh, I read. I read this book like twice, once when he started to write it, and then there were a lot of updates. And I like this book. I enjoy this book like uh, all the time. And Smuggler with uh, Paul Rosenberg, he, uh, they also wrote uh, together the book, uh, which is called The New Age of Intelligence. This is the link to this book. Um, and also, I would like to mention some crucial presentation I especially like uh, his presentation, which is called The Forgotten Art of Anonymous Digital Cash, Opting Out of Complexity. Uh, he described that achieving uh, anonymous digital cash can be really important because it's a complex thing. And uh, because it's a complex thing means that uh, it is necessary to achieve like a high security on each layer or each level of such complex things like digital cash. And this may be really hard. So uh, so we are back um, in a discussion where uh, we can say that only really uh, simple application can be can be safe. So so achieving safe anonymous digital cash may be hard, may, may be really hard problem. So if you like the uh, this topic, uh, you definitely should uh, watch this presentation. And I think that's all. Uh, I strongly uh, recommend you to find more information about our conference at the website hcpb.cz. And we still have some free tickets, so don't hesitate and buy some of them. Um, it is possible to come physically to Prague uh, to the conference or you can also watch uh, watch our conference online. Thank you.